What is good guys, it's Charles from Team COG coming at you guys here with another discussion video today. So if you guys don't know, Scared Claws just got released and I've heard a lot of talk about these guys. Like I've heard a lot of discussion, like the Link 3 is solid. I've heard some people say that this is boneless Crusadia and then I've heard some people say that this is better than Crusadia. And I just gotta say, <laughs> if you guys are saying that, that's just unacceptable. So anyway guys, we're gonna jump into and we're gonna break every card down and uh, go from there, guys. So we'll hop on over here into the lab and we will show you card for card the new claws that are scared. Scared claw archetype. So here we go. All right, guys, here we are. We're in the lab over here. I got all the scared claw cards and the new frost card out for us to discuss and just to go ahead and talk about. Now, they are. this is not going to be a deck profile. This is not going to do anything like that. I feel like in this time of like COVID where everybody's already like struggling to get play have or have IRL play due to the virus and stuff like that that I, I feel like people are getting sick of Ignis, Dueling Book, and like YG Omega and all like this type of content. And it's to me, the game was meant to be played live. So until I get these physical cards in my hand, will I be able to bring, will I bring you guys a profile? But anyway, uh, just go ahead and clarify for all my uh, fans out there, this deck is not the best, like, it's not better than Crusadia. That is just, <laughs> that's just funny. Uh, funny for people to think that. Now, in, can it get future support to make it better? Of course, that's, that's always like open. This is the first wave of support. And I believe we're going into a new storyline because of the Frost card and lore and stuff like that. Uh, however, we'll just have to wait and see. However, I do recommend as soon as this card right here drops, this right here, Vissa equals Star Frost. Once this card here drops, I do recommend everybody picking up a playset of this card. Because I believe this the theme or the lore behind this is this guy is going to other galaxies and trying to conquer them. So I believe that this guy will be, as you guys can see, and it doesn't have anything to do with Scareclaw, but a lot of the Scareclaw cards work with him. So that kind of hints that other future archetypes will probably work with Starfrost here too. So just, or sta yeah, Starfrost, not, I don't know why I call it Starfrost, Staffrost in the future. So just, if you guys don't want Scareclaw, go ahead and pick up this guy just so case. If they do release future archetypes based around this guy, you already have your three copies. But uh, we'll go ahead and talk about him last here. We'll put him over here, but we'll go ahead and talk about this guy right here. Scareclaw, Reichhart. Uh, this card says you can special on this card from your hand to your main monster zone in a column or of a scare claw monster you control or its adjacent column. So you get to do like this cool thing with mech knights, but also adjacent columns too. So it gives you more special summon capabilities. Uh, you know, blue for three sometimes will win games. So maybe uh, Reinhardt here pretty good. But this card is like the main card of the deck. So anyway, so if you guys don't understand what that means, is if you get to, you can special summon and all the scare claws share this effect. You can special summon all the share, uh, scare claws into the same column as a scare claw or into an adjacent column. So that means that you just get the ability to just practically special summon from free. You can, if you are not careful, you can prevent or lock yourself out of it. Especially if you summon on your far left and far right, and then you put a non-scarecrow monster next to it. You cannot special summon another scarecrow monster because you can't summon in that column, and it doesn't have an adjacent column open. Uh, but anyway... If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one Scareclaw spell or trap from your deck to your hand. Then if three or more defense position monsters are on the field, draw a card. This does not include just yours. It's also your opponent. So if your opponent goes ham sandwich on their side, spoiler, the link three turns everything to defense. During your turn, when you normal this guy, you will be able to draw a search and draw a card. So Lenthium was calling this card a engage 2.0, and I think that's incorrect because this card requires a lot more setup and it's harder to get three monsters in defense position than it is to get three spells in the grave but for the most part i would say it's more like a engage 4.0 it does almost the same thing engage does it gives you that plus one but the setup is a little bit harder to get to uh, but he is the main boss monster or not really the boss monster he's the main deck monster like i don't know how to put it he is the best main deck monster we got that that's that's just we won't even summon like go around there best main deck monster we have next we have a scareclaw akura same summoning condition as Reichart here, a summon into a same column or an adjacent column. But this says, uh, once per turn, your Scareclaw monsters in the extra monster zone gain 300 attack for each def defense position monster you control. Okay, so any Scareclaw monster in the extra monster zone will get that 300 boost for each defense. Uh, so it start kind of makes it, you know, kind of the Scareclaw link three starts to get pretty big here. We do have, which I'm going to call Verona, or Verone, the good dog here. Uh, this card says that uh, if a uh, Scareclaw monster, you're in extra monster zone, attacks a defense position monster, inflict a piercing battle damage. So they have their own Crusadia Leonis here. And I guess I can arguably see the can, how like how these guys uh, correspond with Crusadia. 
very much so now after rereading the cards to you guys live or not really live but rereading them again to you guys make this video i see it i see it pretty well like i can see how people would say like these are the next crusadia i wouldn't say these are the next because next means they put away the old i would say this is another archetype theme with this almost similar mechanics to crusadia it sounds like but you can see it has like a little bit of both like crusadia because of the extra deck monster and then like columns and adjacent mech knights I, it's pretty cool I, the more i read it the more i see it okay uh, so this guy gives you guys piercing, which is really good. Move over here to whatever this guy is. We're going to Astra here, Scareclaw Astra. Uh, this says that a Scareclaw monster in your in your extra monster can attack a number of times. Each battle phase up to the number of defense position Scareclaw monsters with different names. So this right here is going to be your big beat hitter. Since they don't have like a Crusadia Maximus lets you do double battle damage and whack just once because that's one thing i'd say that crusadia has over this so far is we don't have to hit multiple times we just got to hit once and uh so that's what this allows us to do so you have a piercer a uh, piercer here you have the ability to gain 300 additional attack for each defense position monster you have and then you have this guy who lets you make multiple attacks so that's pretty good that, that kind of goes around the dex gimmick and the dex win condition coming up uh scare claw nova if you guys can't see here uh, there's star frost in the artwork but this says target one scare claw monster or one star frost in your graveyard special summon into defense position if a scare claw link monster you control be destroyed by battle or card effect you can banish this card from your graveyard instead so they get a, a crusadia arborea in a sense which is really good but this is this is the one i'm talking about this is the theme with the star frost card so like star frost has not been listed in any names except for the Scareclaw Nova so far. So this right here is a Surgical Monster Reborn, which allows you to protect your Link 3 from destruction by battle or card effect, which is pretty solid. Going on here to... This this card does not have uh, Scareclaw in the name, but this card, and forgive me for trying to... Lithobia, the Wanton and Willful World of Desire. So I believe we will get more field spells like this that resolve around Starfrost and him going to his different worlds, his different realms. There's another spell out there called like the Big... The new clear planet, which is a pun on nuclear planet, but a new clear planet that has a similar effect to what Starfrost has. And if you look in the artwork of Starfrost here, you see the background of nuclear world. Anyway, uh, when this card is activated, you can add one Scareclaw monster or one Starfrost monster from your deck to your hand. Monsters your opponent control lose 100 attack and defense for each defense, de uh, defense. <laughs> defense position monster on the field. If three or more defense position monsters are on the field, you can target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. You can only use this effect of Leafoba, the Walton Wolf for one desire once per turn. You can only activate one once per turn. So right now, guys, we get a invoked, uh, what do you call it? Magical Meltdown that on activation grabs us any Scareclaw or Frost Monster. And then on top of that, it reduces attack value, which is pretty good considering like what the attack wants to do. 100 isn't too big in the grand scheme of things, but it can add up. And then we have a, well, what's that light stage like effect? If you can control three cards, three defense position monsters, this card can already destroy one card, not spell or trap, any card. Pop, bam, there you go. That's pretty good for a field spell. I, I'm really not going to lie. That is pretty solid for a field spell. Okay, so now moving on. Scareclaw Alternative. So this is a trap. Tribute three Scareclaw monsters your opponent controls. Or excuse me. Tribute three Scareclaw monsters. That's cost. Okay. Your opponent can only special summon monsters in defense position for the rest of this turn. During your turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then inflict 100 damage to your opponent for each defense position monsters on the field. So I'm getting like a mix between Crusadia and a mix between Super Heavy Samurai that lets you attack while in defense. But I don't know if we'll get, I don't, can't remember if there's a card that comes up with that uh, moving forward. So this card's okay. Uh, if you guys don't know what the big Link Monster does, it uh, draws on defense with this monster. So it's, it, this card's all right. I don't know if you'll actually play this card or not. Maybe a one of, may, probably a zero if you ask me, you know, depending, you know, future support might say different. Now this card, Scare Call Sclash. This card is really cool. Frost is whooping up on Reinhardt here. Uh, once per turn, you can target one Scareclaw or Frost monster you control. Star Frost monster you control. Uh, this turn, it can attack while in face-up defense position. So normally that will not matter, but it can. Uh, if, if you guys don't know, uh, Reinhardt here has 2,100 defense. Akroa has 2,000, 17, and 1,300 defense. So their defenses are subjectively higher than their attack value. All right, guys, quick announcement. If you guys want to help support the channel, you can do so by using the TCG player affiliate link down below. 
Using that link will give a little bit of kickback to the channel, costing you nothing extra while helping to support the crusade am i right and then if you guys also want to help support the channel check out the imperium duelist link down below using our the code team cog10 will give you 10 percent off your orders at checkout and i'm a huge uh supporter of their products from their deck boxes to their dice to their sleeves to their mats to everything i've just been a huge advocate for their products for quite some time finally if you guys want to support the channel you can do so by becoming a member get access to member only perks and rewards every live stream that we do gets uploaded for members only after the live stream is over with and you get access to custom emotes and just you know become part of a wholesome family but anyway guys back to the video now that is very interesting except for i think frost here frost has 2100 attack so, but this card right here lets you attack, lets all these guys attack, and the, like, it, like, the, and like, Crusadia monsters, or the, or whatever, like, it points to can attack, these Scareclaws can still attack, but they're always going to be in defense. So, this card allows you to poke for additional damage with your defense position Scareclaw monsters, but that's, that's okay, that's a good effect, I'll give you that. But if it does apply its attack or defense, whichever's higher, for damage calculation. So, there you go. So, you get to apply, which really, as I just read through all of them, uh, most of them, all of them have, all the scare claws at least have higher defense, they do attack value, except for Frost. So Frost can attack in defense and then apply its attack, which is, that's pretty cool. Uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect while you control a scare claw monster in your extra monster zone, you can send this face up card from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard and negate that effect. So the deck gets a solemn judgment like card by just controlling the link three. I believe that they need to get a Link 2, or a Link 1, or you, I think a Link 1 is more probable, because uh, we'll get there to the Link 3 in a second, but a Link 1 would be really good. And now we'll go ahead and read Starfrost, which is probably my favorite card in the entire, like, theme so far. Uh, if you, if this card is in your hand, you can target one face-up monster you control with a different type and attribute than this card. And if you do special summon this card, you can only use the effect of Visa Starfrost, once per turn, and when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can make this card gain attack equal to half the destroyed monster's original attack or defense, whichever is higher. This, like I said, leads me to believe there's going to be more archetypes revolving around this guy. I don't know if he will eventually ever get his own archetype. I mean, look at Albaz. Albaz was like kind of like a revolving theme around um, the Dogmatica, the Tri Brigade, and they ended up giving him kind of like his own theme to follow. So I, we, we might see that in the future. I do not know. I hope now, just because I'm biased or based as the, the community calls it i would love to see a knight like archetype or a warrior like archetype or a dragon like archetype drag i know people are tired of dragons but it'd be kind of cool that this guy works with uh, he is a level six tuner that is insane so it allows for easy synchro summoning into baron this guy and this guy or reinhardt plus this guy equals baron you can synchro into nines crocosaur shin shin uh, it's just this guy is really interesting, and the fact that he can special summon out of his hand, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, guys, now, here we go. Scare Call, Scare Claw, Scare Call, call me on the, you know, Scare Claw, Trick Heart. Three effect monsters are needed to make this. This is why I believe the deck needs a Link 1. A Link 2 would be nice if you could just climb up from the Link 2 and a Scare Claw right up into it, but you need three. So they need to have a Link 1 that lets you do some pretty cool stuff. Anyway. All face-up monsters on the field are changed to defense position. So automatically switches everything to defense. This card is unaffected by the activated effects of defense position monsters. Once per turn, if this card is in the extra monster zone, you can target one level 3 Scareclaw monster in your graveyard. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except Scareclaw. Also special summon that target monster, and if you do, add one Scareclaw monster from your deck to your hand. This card is insane i think the requirement for three effect monsters is kind of steep considering the archetype itself currently but that might change in the future when they get more support but this card is literally a towers like card uh, no lie no cap uh, if you are going to play this this is why i do not believe this deck is like crusadia this deck is going to be defend trick heart to the greatest potential that you can uh, you already have a like avermax like effect in a link four Right? Or in Link 3, you have an Avermax-like effect. Uh, so this card already says that any card on that comes out gets turned to defense. Okay? And then it says it's unaffected by defense position monsters. Sweet. So that means no monster effect is going to be able to hurt this guy unless they Link Summon. Which can happen. I mean, hands down it can happen because Link Summoning is a prominent... Unless, you know, they're playing Sword Soul. But, like, m most decks have a Link Summon. They either have an access code package or something. Now, it says that, again, the, the ability to reborn one of your level 3 Scare Claws, like this guy here, 
you reborn it, then you get to add this guy, Reinhardt here, or Reichhardt. You get to do this. He gets 300 attack for every single monster in defense. Special summon this guy. This guy then allows you to search out the trap. And again, if you, there's three or more defense position monsters on the field, when you bring him out, you draw a card. Then if you are good at the game and you open Starfrost here, you can use Starfrost to tribute to the level three you summon and then make Baron de Floor on top of having the Omni Negate trap. That is insane. Crazy. Uh, but that's all the cards they have released so far. And this is just kind of my like slight review of it. Uh, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this archetype. I feel like it needs a little bit more. A great start. I'm more excited to see what more Starfrost brings. What this card right here, what this card in general will bring to archetypes. You know, what archetypes are we going to see? What are cool ones are we going to get? What's the storyline? We've been dealing with the Albaz storyline for it feels like almost forever. And it's just, I'm kind of tired of it. I, I know it sounds crazy. Like the World Legacy story was so in tune and so in depth. Like I never got tired of World Legacy. I never got tired of the dual terminals lore. But this Fallen of Albaz lore, man, I am just tired of it. I'm ready to move on to something new. And I thought the Magic Key was going to start a new lore line, but it didn't. Uh, so now hopefully this will be the start of a new lore line. Uh, but my thoughts, guys, if I was going to give this, I'd probably give this a 7 out of 10. Maybe I'm being a little bit uh, biased here, but 7 out of 10 for sure. It has a great start. It already has some pretty cool plays. Uh, maybe uh, maybe 7 out of 10. Maybe let's go 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 sounds a little bit better uh, because it has a great start. It still needs a lot more stuff or it needs some more interesting cards to come in. I think there's a lot of heavy resources going into this. You put, instead of like some other tower like decks where you put everything you can into your towers like monster and you still have some recovery, uh, this deck does not have that because I've tested the deck already. Uh, you dump everything you can into Trihark, uh, Trihart, the Trich, Trichhart, which I believe is German or Dutch. European friends, help me out here. Uh, and you just hope that it lasts. And without having a follow-up, but this guy also can give you a follow-up too. Do note that like a very powerful follow-up, you are at risk of losing. But anyway, 6 out of 10 is my thing. Uh, what do you guys think down below? Do you think this deck is the next Crusadia? And if you do, you can go ahead and hit that um subscribe button. And if you guys, what do you, do you guys think that it's going to, it's not going to be the next Crusadia, but it's going to be something different, you know? I'd just love to hear your guys' opinion of this archetype. But anyway, guys, this is Charles from Team COG. Please remember, guys, to stay safe, stay healthy. This is Charles from Team COG, signing out.